Today we're going to look at a Yamaha Warrior stator, how to check it. There's the cover that uh, you need to pull off, and as you see, there's the stator wires coming out. The stator's located right underneath this cover. This stator serves three functions. The big heavy wires here generate power, keep your battery charged, and your lights going. This one large coil here is the pulse generator for the CDI box. The small trigger piece is the piece that tells the CDI box when to fire. These two connectors are for the trigger and for the pulse generator. What I'm testing right now is the trigger, and as you can see, the meter is all over the place. This is the pulse generator. That's just about what it's supposed to be, right around 300 ohms. Most of the time, what goes wrong with these warrior stators is you either lose the trigger or you lose the pulse generator. It's easy to test. Always refer to your service manual. That'll give you the proper ohms readings when you go to check your bike out. Some of the things you can do for your electrical system are taking a look at the connectors. Keeping these connectors clean, free from water, open them up once, twice a year, put dielectric grease in them, and plug them back together. That will at least keep your contacts clean and try to keep you out of trouble. When it comes to fixing electronics on your ATV or side-by-side, -side, this can be tricky, and especially if you don't know what you're doing. Here's where I would highly recommend taking it to your local dealer to have them check it out.